is Gomorra is said to shake things up with a new character played by Israel Zulu. So it is said that he'll be playing uh, Teddy's biological father and we cannot wait to see his acting skills on Gamora and it matches, I, it, it really matches. We saw that on the top. So he told uh, a publication and he said, I'll be playing Don. He had a relationship with Zodra played by Zanam Kuno and they had Teddy. He dumped Zodra for a rich woman and went to live in mansions. Unfortunately, the woman recently died. Now he's down and out as the wife's family took everything and he has returned to Alex. He'll come back with his daughter Sibon Yere Don. He'll also be a competition for Mam Sonto. He struggles a lot after returning and ends up getting into hijacking. Soon, he starts taking over Santos' operations. Okay. Um, Don is coming to take over, but people will love him because he's funny. And he is. And, yo. <laughs> so, the, um, the, the character that he will be playing, it matches with uh, his acting skills. I love the fact that He's gonna fit in perfectly in Gomorrah and we're gonna see him, you know, flourishing, giving us that funny vibe, giving us that tootsie vibe, like, so we cannot wait for that. So, on another news, M's in Wesin is set to come back. Well, mm, okay. So, it is set to come back on Moja Love and it will be staring Jerry Pele, Vusi Tanda and Jabulani Nkosi. So, they are the only remaining lead actors of the 80s sitcom in the new Moja Love spin-off with Lillian Dube. And she will step in as a matriarch who is responsible for taking care of people at the old age home. The new format is centered around an old age home. Whereas the original show took place in at a hostel. So, you know, people are trying. They are trying out there. So, yeah, we'll see what it has in store for us. As much as love doesn't disappoint. So, on entertainment news, the nominations were controversial to say the least. Fans were upset after Saftas snubbed a popular South African show. And Skin Sam was not. While Skin Sam actors scored individual nominations, actors Shoki Mula, Moli Femunaisa, and Mutusi Makano for Best Supporting Actors. So they managed to score nominations, but trips were livid that Skin Sam did not make it into the Best Telenovela or Best Sobi. So uh, Skin Sam page took to Twitter and it congratulated the people who were nominated for um, for best supporting actors at the Safters. So yeah, guys, uh, Skin Sam have been like it's great, but I don't I don't see a reason why it was not nominated. So you know how people bribe like this. These days, awards are not that exciting as they were back then because there's a lot of bribing, there's a lot of corruption inside. So we just have to see what they give us. So yeah, entertainment commentator took to Twitter and he said, "Awards Saftas to air on SABC Three. So the South African Film and Television Awards has uh, this year found a new home in SABC Three for the 2021 ceremony." The channel is the broadcaster of the award ceremony on the 22nd of May, 2021 at 8 p.m. Hmm. Okay. It is said that uh, SAPC3 is struggling. It is struggling with viewers. It is struggling with money. Actually, SAPC as a whole is struggling. You know, people have moved to the, to the DSTV uh, magic, magic, what, what. So <laughs> they will keep up. They will keep up. So the Saturn nominations also took a moment to pay tribute to the late thespian Menzi Ngobani who passed away earlier this year. Menzi died on March 13 after suffering a stroke at home. He was 56 and is survived by his wife's Skilelwa and two daughters. The Academy paid homage to Menzi by nominating him posthumously for Best Actor in the Telenovela category for his role as Judas 
Gwenya on his own Isibaya. So his fans, uh, one of them posted and it said it would be refreshing to have Menzi Gwani on that path. I can't read really that word. I don't even know what that word means. So Safta also posted and he said, your Safta nominees for Best Actor in a Telenovela is David Minar and Menzi Gwani. But I think Menzi Gwani is going to take this one because people are going to vote for him even though he's no longer here but they are going to vote for him. On another news, um, remember the scandal that Katlaka Mapo was involved in? So it took a lot from him. It drained him, you know, but then Saptus didn't care about it. So he was nominated for the best presenter. And the... and. Khabulompela said the surprise on the list is obviously Katlaho Mabu where his personal life has nothing to do with his talent but his norm is an eyebrow razor very 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 true I love the enthusiast uh, person that he is he is so active and he is good at what he does he is so professional and what his girlfriend did to him can't be undid it so we don't care about his personal life as long as his personal life is his personal life we don't we are not involved but then we love the fact that he is an amazing presenter he is you know he is everything that we look for in a presenter and we love the fact that he got nominated and we're gonna vote for him so Tando Taputi uh, was nominated not her nominated I think but um, 30 nominations for How to Win Christmas and 3 for Housekeeper Season 2 so automatically she was um, uh, nominated because <laughs> she was the leading role on those two soapies or series yeah for those series yeah, she was the leading actress so the actress was very upset that she wasn't uh, solely nominated so rhythm city is coming to an end in july i have told you that before so the show is ending its journey on a high note by banging several softer nominations actress petronola juma in the best actress tv soap category Eric Mokhale for Best Achievement in Directing TV Soap, Zedipa Zudu for Best Achievement in Script Writing, <laughs> and Mapula Mafola in the Best Supporting Actress TV Soap category. The show have also been nominated for the Best TV Soap category in addition to 79 and Scandal. So why is, why is it ending? Why is it ending? Because it's no longer the issue of viewers or anything, but... It, it's been recognized guys it's recognized and like i'm grateful that it's been recognized so now that some of our faves and not so faves have been nominated we can't wait to watch the softest and see some of mzansi's top talents take trophies home so on on the skin some scandal on the local local soapies i agree i agree so so just go on and vote for your favorite nominee and you can see them begging their award thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and comment